Yo, what's going on guys? Mo3 back here with another video. Today we will be covering the new Hunt Showdown patch notes as of February 15th, 2018. Uh, to start off with some known issues that came out with this patch, you will not be able to play on the central servers. You're going to need to select either Eastern or Western if you're playing uh, NA, but if you're EU, you should be fine just playing on those servers. Uh, next up, they added seven bounties to the screen selection. Uh, currently 5, 6, and 7 you cannot play and something really interesting about this is that you can see they added two bounties in one game so you hunt both the spider and the butcher on one bounty. Some pretty cool stuff going on. I'm excited to see it when it comes out fully. Uh, also during the banishing phases there's going to be a large FPS drop in spikes. Audio from extraction points may not function correctly. Lastly, the game has a case of the white balls. No, we are not talking sexually. <laughs> um, if you don't know how a game works, whenever you're building a game, you have to have light around the map so you know you can see when you're playing it. And uh, these are literally just balls of light on uh, little wooden posts. And you are not supposed to be able to see them, but uh, around the map, something happened to where they show as a ball of light, not as an object like a lamp or something. Nothing too big, just uh, another small thing in the notes. Alright, and some of the bigger things that have come out in this update, Bloodline has been reset. If you were someone like me or Jax who have been grinding to get to tier 80 and finally have made it, it doesn't matter anymore, they reset your Bloodline. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but <laughs> what are we going to do, you know? It, it adds more grinding until the game comes out. A lot of the highlight you see right here, we are going to go more in depth because they added a lot of big changes to the AI and um, some other things about world improvement. All right, next up, some notable world changes they made. They decreased the amount of ammunition you will pick up around the map, which includes ammo crates, small ammo packs, just whatever ammo comes from, you will get a less amount from it. Also, what I am very excited about, extraction zones will generate audio and animations when at least two different teams are in proximity. So like it says, the horses become uneasy, the boat engines rev up, I mean, that, that's just really cool in my opinion, because if you're trying to extract, you always have to look out for people trying to camp your extraction site, and now you will know if they are there because of these audio cues and visual cues. A couple more noticeable changes for the world. Um, they added more exits and entryways for compounds, so it's going to be much harder to banish the boss without players coming in and stopping you. And finally, they increased the number of spawn points, so that means not only can you select where you're going to spawn around the map, there's more areas you can choose from, so that is a very cool addition to the alpha. And then finally, some bug fixes for the world changes. Um, barrels will now count as kills if you shoot a barrel and kill a player. So uh, before, you can see in some of our videos, Jax would shoot an explosive barrel, and then uh, we would not get the kill point for that, and now they added it to where it would work correctly. Some really cool equipment changes they made. Long bullets now penetrate through materials such as sheets and roofs, which is really helpful because there'll be a lot of situations when I'm using a sniper and then like I shoot a railing and it just hits the railing, doesn't hit the player. Now it will go through all those textures and I'm so happy about that. What I'm not happy about is that they nerfed the snipers a ton. There's increased sway on my favorite sniper. And they reduced the ammo capacity for the really hard snipers like the Nitro and the Mosin, which uh, already didn't have a lot of ammo, so that sucks that they uh, took even more ammo out. They also highly increased the recoil because, like they said, it's an elephant rifle after all. And then finally, they reduced the amount of heals you can have from med kit and fuses you can use from 5 to 3, as well as increasing the use time from 0.8 seconds to 5 seconds. So now whenever you heal yourself, it's going to take much more time to heal. Next on some world bug fixes, um, whenever you throw things like lanterns and explosives, they will actually break through windows instead of detonating on impact. Now AI changes, this is a very big one and one that... It makes sense, I'm just not happy about because it's going to cause a lot of trouble in-game. Uh, first off, they increase the movement speed of grunts and armored. They increase the time that grunts and armors will chase hunters. And armors now take less damage from shotguns and melee attacks, which will prove to be very hard for me because I like close range fights. Now this one is probably the worst of them all. They increased everything on a swarm and hive 
the hive does more damage the swarm does more damage the poison does more damage it's they have a larger swarm just everything about a hive got buffed which means that hives are now going to be the hardest ai to kill in the game other than the boss they also changed uh the butcher boss fight now he has an increased chance of catching hunters now on to meta and ui changes just some highlights from this section hunters below level 25 can no longer be retired uh, one negative thing from this section though reduced chances of receiving a mid to late game weapon when recruiting lower tier hunters uh, if you don't know what that means that means guns that you would usually buy or unlock at a higher tier those had a chance to drop at a very low tier hunter like the sparks llr or some other really good um snipers shotguns melee weapons now you're gonna have to wait late game to receive that which isn't too bad just means that you're gonna have to grind a lot harder to unlock the build that you want for your hunter they added bloodline prestige which is really cool so whenever you hit max rank you will be able to prestige your account and this will grant a unique profile icon finally they added support for leaderboard stats so hopefully that's up and running soon where you can track kill streaks boss streaks extraction streaks all that good stuff now this is probably the most important update for most users uh the performance tab basically they made it to where the game is going to lag a lot less the frame rate will be more stable and it just optimized a lot of your pc's components to be able to run the game smoother make sure the next time you run the game you go over to the performance tab and you adjust the performance to your pc for the best quality gameplay like always guys, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next video.